Give us five minutes on the clock. Here we go. <laughs> All right, we are back with today's food, and we are getting you ready for that summer cookout with easy sides that use fresh seasonal ingredients. It's actually good. beautiful here on this table. Here to show us two restaurant quality side dishes is chef and TV host Jordan Andino. Jordan's newest restaurant is called Carriage oh, House. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes. It just you. opened in the West Village in New York City. Good morning to you. Good morning guys. Thanks so for you just said, I love it. First yes. of all, it's, congratulations. Thank the table you. looks beautiful. He said two things for your summer dishes. Mm -hmm. They okay. should be Colorful yep. mm -hmm. and, and delicious. De and deliciousness. Delicious. Oh, <laughs> I love it. All right, so what are we making? Okay, so what we're going to make first is a corn ceviche. All right, so this this right here is simple, it's quick, and it's a play on a regular ceviche, except, mm -hmm. you know, we have it's vegetable forward in this okay. case, mm -hmm. but still with that acid kick. Mm -hmm. So first thing you're going to do is you can cook your corn. You can either do it in the husk. A lot of people uh -huh. don't know that. Yep. Oh, or you can, just, or, or you can cook, you cook it out cook of it. it in the husk? What do you mean? Like this. Just drop it in there? Drop it in. Well, well I didn't know you can cook it. Ready to rock. That's it. Yeah, it just kind of steams it and encases it a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, really, uh, once once it gets nice and tender, is, you're going to dehusk it. It looks, it looks like this. Right. Right. So you boil and then you grill it. Yeah, you, you got to do both because this is going to tenderize it a little bit more uh -huh. and it'll make it better to eat when 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 eventually you take it off the husk. Okay. So yeah. now what we're going to do is you're just going to give it a quick little drizzle okay. right here of some olive oil and salt. I like to layer, uh, season in layers, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to season this salad many times, but not a lot at any time, just a right. little bit. Okay, okay? so you're going to sear this Easy and you want to get those char marks, which is really right. important because when you get the char marks it gives nice bitter notes but also okay. it, it like helps uh, elevate the sweetness of the corn yes. too okay all right so you're going to season that okay and then sear it all four sides make sure it's charred Done. okay now a lot of people when they do like an elote salad or some something similar from like hispanic origin mm -hmm. they typically use you know uh queso fresco mm -hmm. you know, or something like that i like to use ricotta salada Ooh. Huh? now you know italian cooking is something that's very near and dear to me this is a mild cheese but it really has great texture and it doesn't it doesn't tend to run and make things too creamy uh. when you mix it so that that's a big deal so and it also crumbles look super oh, oh. easily so is that all you, like you just crumble it yeah, up yeah so it's, it's like almost like an italian feta but i would i wouldn't say as intense in flavor okay okay so yeah, yeah, yeah please guys try it here try it super oh, easy good. yeah it's nice it's right. nice that works i like okay. it i say yes so so these these two key are the keys to this entire salad right okay. so now what we're going to do is we're just going to take your charred corn you're going to okay. you're going to cut it off like you do into a bowl and then yield the kernels there yeah okay. al would you mind put it yeah Please, right in here. Okay, so we mix, have that, this, mix that all together. Some cilantro? Yeah, so that you got cilantro, perfectly cut avocados, may I add, mm -hmm. and then some cherry tomatoes. Okay. Now we're gonna season it. Salt, pepper, a mm. little bit of sugar to help accent oh, that balance. Okay. And then now with the ceviche part, you want lemon and lime juice. Okay. Lemon okay. And lime. So that's juice. gonna cook it a little Yeah, this is gonna kinda cook it a little bit, but it's gonna be reminiscent of that sweetness that you really want from mm -hmm. it. Okay. Of course, don't forget to season with some salt. And then we have a little bit of Aleppo pepper right there. What kind Delicious. of pepper was that? Aleppo pepper. Aleppo pepper. Yeah. Aleppo. And then if you don't have Aleppo, what's a the sub there? If you don't hear, like paprika would, okay. would work really well. Uh, even some chili powder. Oh, that's bust good. It up. oh you guys are already eating it there. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we only have a minute left. Right. So, you, so you mix oh, it up, is. and then at the very end, you want to just add in your. Cheese. The cheese, just like this, right. and look how beautiful that looks. It's gorgeous, and these all those colors. This is my salad of yeah. the summer. This is yeah. yummy. It's good, right? And oh, what, the beauty good. about this is, with Father's Day right around the corner, you can make this on like Thursday, Friday, or Saturday, and then you're good for Sunday. This What's our fantastic. next dish? All right, so our next dish over here, this right. So this is the kind of whipped yogurt mm -hmm. um, that we're making okay. for this um, tomato salad. Listen, Ooh. tomatoes, especially in the summer, are in season. Mm -hmm. My restaurant, Carriage House, we really focus on seasonality. Okay. In fact, I would say 40 to 60 percent of the vegetables are picked up at Union Square Market. Mm -hmm. Right down. Not too over. far down. Yeah. Okay. So first, the first element is this right here. This is going to be our whipped yogurt, sun-dried tomato, mm -hmm. and feta. Mm. We, we said feta earlier. Yeah. Throw some champagne vinegar in there, some That's cream good. to loosen it up. And then what I really love is adding a fat component to vegetables. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, because sometimes fat really be like it's it's what drives and binds everything together. Okay. Press that on, pulse it up, and you're going to get a nice little. Going to blend we'll play, that up. We'll play like it. We'll play like it works. We'll, 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 we'll play like it works. There you go, Al. There you go. There you go. So, so that'll be a nice Delicious. accent. It's going to end up looking a little like this. I would put that on like so many other things too. Yeah. It's so good. No, you can put it on a spread on a yes, sandwich, on a ciabatta. And then you want something like a perfect salsa verde. So what you're going to do here is you're going to just quickly, as quickly as you can, chop it up. You want to be and what very... what are you using? In, um, so you have parsley, cilantro, and then a little bit of... What is uh, this sauce called again? You should bottle that. It's, it's good, right? It's delightful. It's delightful. I don't yeah. even know. It's like a feta... It's delightful. It's like, I call it feta cloud. Damn. Feta sun-dried tomato What did you put clouds. in there? What was that? So this right here is um, some shallots, some greens, and this is your salsa verde. Oh. So this is another accent. We're just layering vegetables on, on top of vegetables oh here. Gosh. Great vegetables. Great vegetables. Great vegetables. Yeah. Yeah. Jordan, thank you so well much. Done, and then, yeah, good. Have it up, and then it ends up looking like this. Boom. Well done. The final product looks like that right there. For these recipes, head to today.com slash food.